weeks back, we reviewed the COB120D, an LED light from Aperture, which I really enjoy using. The one thing that's kind of unique about it is that its color temperature is rated at 6,000 Kelvin. And that's a little bit different than a lot of other daylight balanced lights. And daylight really is sort of a range. It's not an exact number. <laughs> um, but nevertheless, if you're going to be using multiple lights, mixing them together, you generally want them to be the same color temperature. But in this case, my primary kit is an LS1S. I actually have three of these. And now I have a COB120D. You can see, just even visually looking at them, you can tell there's definitely a difference in terms of color. And the question is, how much of a difference is it? And does that make it so that you can't really use them together? And I think that's a good practical question. I've had that question and for some people I've said, you know, I, I use them together. I don't find it to be a problem. But I think there are certain circumstances where you would be okay to use them together and other circumstances where you might not. But before we do that, let's just take a closer look here. Again, COB120D on the left, that's this one that's looking more bluish. And then the Lightstorm LS1S on the right. If we mask these off and look at each of them one at a time, you can see here, for example, with the COB120D, we're definitely seeing more in the blue channel here. There's a fairly significant difference between what we see in the blue channel versus the green and red channels. And also on our vector scope here, you can see it's definitely tending toward blue. The way we shot this, we actually are using a Panasonic GH4 and we set the white balance to preset of daylight. Then when we switch over to the LS1S, you can th see things change a little on the vector scope. We're very much centered. And over here on the parade, you can see there is a tiny bit more blue than green and red, but not nearly as much of a difference as there was with the COB120D. And that's what exactly what we would expect here. When you set your camera to daylight white balance, shoot with this light versus the COB120D. Not a surprise. The question is, is that so much of a difference that you cannot use them together? Well, let's take a look at a shot I made where I did use them together. So in this shot here, I'm using the COB120D as my key light. So that's what you're seeing, the light on my face. And actually what we did here with the Panasonic GH4 is we did a custom white balance using the COB120D and this gray card here. So the light was shining on the gray card. We used that to set the camera's white balance. And then what we have in the backdrop is an LS1S aimed at the backdrop and then another LS1S aimed at the back of my head here to create a little bit of separation as a hair light between me and the background. So in this case, I actually find this acceptable for most of the things I'm doing. Yeah, it's not exactly the same, but most people aren't going to notice that and I don't find it generally to be a problem in this type of shot. And these are the circumstances where I'm using each of those lights for a different purpose. So again, the COB120D as my key light, the Lightstorm LS1S as a hair light, and another Lightstorm LS1S as a backdrop light. Now, if you're going to be using, say for example, a COB120D as your key light, and then maybe an LS1S as a fill light, that may not be the best combination. Oftentimes you don't wanna push warmer colors into the shadows where you'll be using a fill, for example. So that may not be the best combination. So I guess the short answer is, is <laughs> to the question, can I mix these two? And I think the short answer is it depends. It depends on how um, careful you want to be in terms of mixing those two colors. It also depends on what you're going to do with each of the lights. And so I would say, if you're going to be using them for separate purposes, like I'm doing here, it's probably okay if you're okay with this look. If you are going to be doing color critical work and you're maybe going to be using an LS1S for a fill and a COB120D for a key, maybe it's not the best choice. I think you could still make it work, but generally you don't want your fill light to be warmer <laughs> than your uh, key light. Um, you could maybe swap them around. Um, in any case, I just wanted to kind of clarify the answer to that question because I know a lot of people have been asking that question. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you have not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.